for us as believers, the dignity of work comes out of a whole theology of creation. In Genesis, we see that God has made creation and entrusted to us the continuation of his work. Work is God's gift to us. We're able to use the different gifts that God's given us, physical gifts, spiritual, mental gifts, to make the world a better place. Because the church recognizes that every person is created in God's image and likeness and therefore has inherent dignity, we also recognize that work exists for people. People don't exist for work. So recognizing the rights of workers is one of the ways that we honor the dignity of every person. Among the things that we need to uphold are the, the just wage, the safe working conditions, and the possibility of the worker to participate in the fruits of his labor. Catholic teaching holds that workers have the right to dignified work, as well as to time for leisure and rest, and they have the right to benefits such as sick leave and maternity leave and paternity leave and health care. Workers have a right to adequate support in their retirement and also to choose to form unions if that's what they like to do. Catholic teaching also holds that workers have responsibilities. They have the responsibility to provide a fair day's work for a fair day's wage. Managers and supervisors and employers can make decisions in their workplaces that uphold the rights of workers, that provide decent wages and a safe working environment. We have situations here, right in here in our neighborhood, where we've seen people that were not employable. And the best thing is when they can get back on their feet with the help of, of church and our diocesan programs that will help them find a job with meaning. All of a sudden the neighborhood gets better, they feel great about themselves, and there's a harmony that's created that uh, really shows the dignity of work. Sometimes it can be easy to forget the workers who are involved in producing the goods that we consume, so it can be helpful to think back. If you take a cup of coffee, thinking all the way back through the roasters and to the farmers who actually grew the beans, there are many workers in that process, and our decisions impact them. It's important that our people be informed about the different issues around work in our society and try to promote just laws and uh, talk to people about the uh, importance of respecting workers' rights. As consumers, we need to be aware that really every purchasing decision is a moral decision. We can purchase ethically produced products or fair trade products. We can purchase locally and support local farmers, for example. All Catholics need to be aware that this is a part of the way that we live our life of discipleship by promoting uh, human dignity, uh, defending the workers' rights, and looking for ways to make our society more attentive to the needs of those who are most vulnerable.